Hello, and welcome to the first video tutorial on how to play Rune Life, the game that I am currently developing. Now, let's get started. First, you should click New Game, which you can do by using the arrow keys to move the cursor and using V to select, or the Enter button. At the beginning, there's a simple tutorial on how to use the controls. And the example of using the Alt key to change the clock on and off is right here at the bottom uh, right hand corner of the screen. And this is normal walking speed, and this is running. Now we're going to continue into the next room. and select the class that we'd like to choose. Now there are nine different classes divided up into three groups, Magic, Strength, and Agility. Now before you choose, you might want to save your game in case you want to come back and change it later. Let's go down to file three for now. Now I like to choose the magic because, you know, I'm a magic nerd, I love the idea of it, and of course, I'd like to be a battle main, because it just seems better, I happen to like that class more than the others. And you don't ever want to forget to take the equipment from these chests, because it's the first equipment you get, and even though it's kind of sucky, it's good for starting equipment, and you can sell it later once you make your own which we'll get to in probably the next video tutorial. And next we're going to choose our character's look. There's six looks in total, three male, three female looks you can go with. It all depends on your preference. Now, none of these really give you any idea what you're going to look like, it's just a general idea. You can always change it later, which I'll be showing in the next tutorial, most likely. Or the next Let's Play. And the next thing that we're going to be doing is creating the name for our character. Which is pretty simple, it can be anything you like. I'm just going to keep the basic name that's given to the character from the start. And you can really choose any of these because you can be any kind of person you want to be even though your class may make you want to choose a certain one. You can always steal things, or, you know, focus on fighting, or the puzzle-solving aspect of things. I'm just going to choose Mystic Apprentice, because I like it the best. And of course, before you go and fight this guy, you're going to want to go to the equipment stage, select your character, and you would be able to click the change button to select different equipments if you already had some, but you don't, so it's best to just go to optimize and let it pick the best for you. And let's see, right now you only have one item that's going to be used in this battle. So go up and talk to this thing. 
And right now you don't have any special skills or anything, no matter what class you choose, so it's best to just keep attacking it. And you just defeated your first enemy, or you should have. I've known a couple things where people have lost, but not to worry. I've fixed that for most of the time. And now you go speak and say goodbye to your friend. serious sphere you have, which should now not be in your inventory. I'm actually going to check and see if it is. Yeah, okay. Well, I fixed that. And then talk to this guy before you leave. It'll give you a little information about what's going to happen, or what happens to you. sent into the physical realm, and the first thing you're going to see is this little scene with your friend, who is different from the previous friend mentioned. And it takes a little while for them to walk, but it lets you get a nice feel for what the game is like. You can see the little waterfalls over there in the tent. You can either choose to go with your friend or put it off till later, which would leave you in a party by yourself. I'm going to go and click the let's go see him option, which will make your friend join your party right away. And now, of course, you pick your name for your best friend. The name was originally going to be Kayla from the beginning, but there were some technical difficulties with it renaming her different names whenever people wanted to say a different name, so I just made it blank from the start. Oh, and an important thing for later, don't forget, you can use the key items to look for important information that will come into play later. I'll go ahead and show you that, since it put it up there. This is the training journal. It shows you what weapons and armors you and people in your party can use. And since I'm a battle mage, it says that I can use guns and swords, and you can do general or magic or light armor. And Kayla is trained with spears, bows, and daggers, and she can use general or light armor and small shields. And let's save that for now. And we will continue with the next video.